Hey, again, welcome back to our Read Alouds. It's Mr. Lone. Hope everyone had a terrific weekend, uh, that you were able to uh, enjoy yourselves a little bit, especially as the weather has warmed up. Get outside, play, uh, do all sorts of those things. And then when you get a chance, kick back with a book. And that's what we're going to do right now as we start our latest week of Read Alouds with a book called Even Superheroes have bad days and it's written by Shelley Becker this is one that I'm borrowing from Mrs. Lusk's class one of the great things is that I have so many uh, amazing colleagues and friends here uh, who have wonderful book selections that give me ideas to add to this library that I can uh, use for the read alouds and that they share with their students which is pretty cool here we go even superheroes have bad days <clears throat> when superheroes don't get their way when they're sad when they're mad, when they have a bad day, they could use superpowers to kick, punch, and pound. They could shriek, they could screech with an ear-piercing sound. They could crush wooden crates and bend metal gates. They could throw trucks and buses across several states. They could knock over buildings like towers of blocks and crumble the streets into rubble and rocks. They could use laser eyes to ignite forest fires or fling boomerangs to deflate the town's tires. But upset superheroes have all sorts of choices. Instead of destruction and loud, livid voices, they burn angry steam off with speed of light hiking or super extreme outer space mountain biking. They race to the rescue of people in need and delight in the joy of a super good deed. They hatch super plans to help banish world sadness, building fabulous theme parks for giggles and gladness. They chase wanted bad guys with supercharged zing, dragging hundreds to jail while police dance and sing. They track down and tame super menacing beasts and transform pity parties to victory feasts. But displeased superheroes who don't feel serene could have super temptation to cause a bad scene. They could blast icy blizzards on hot afternoons or walloping twisters and monster typhoons. They could spin super webs super far, super sticky, and tangle up towns with their silk super icky. They could rotate the planet and mess up world time, or sit back and relax while the world fills with crime. When superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, when they've had a bad day, they could super rampage. They could, but they don't. Because real superheroes just wouldn't. They won't. Instead, they dig down to their super best part. Their strong superpowers contained in their heart. And using their talents as true heroes should, they battle the urge to do harm, though they could. They acknowledge their sorrow, their anger, their pain, as they wait for their super emotions to wane. It's okay if they frown. It's okay if they sigh. It's even okay if they slump down and cry. But then they get up and get on with their day, saving the world in their most super way. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that song, even super, uh, that song, that book, Even Superheroes Have Bad Days. I love the message. Hey, it's all right to be frustrated. It's okay for us to say, this is a terrible day. We can cry, we can pout, we can feel a little anger building up. The key is how do we respond to it? Okay, we find a way to handle it, to work through it, to look ahead and say things are going to get better. You do a great job of that here. Keep working like that. You're all superheroes and you know it. We'll see you back with another read aloud tomorrow, McGinn. Take care.